long time since I posted any long form content to this channel. I do think I owe an explanation for my long absence, but we're not going to get into that in this video. I think I'm going to save that for something else. And I thought that I would keep it light, fun, hopefully, and informative and talk about camcorders. Uh, so before I took that really long extended break, I went on a snow trip with my family and I ended up filming a bunch of stuff on this camcorder. This is a mini DV camcorder. It's the Sony DCR TRV6. It takes these Sony DV, well, it doesn't have to be Sony. Uh, you can use any mini DV cassette tape. The process for digitizing my camcorder footage I've actually posted before. Um, I, it's from a few years back, but that was for a high eight camcorder. I thought that I would kind of update, refresh that video and talk about this one instead, show you the step-by-step -step process. And yeah, that's what we're gonna focus on today. So let's get into it. Starting off with supplies, there's a few things you'll need in order to transfer your mini DV footage to your computer. I have a MacBook, so this demonstration is just going to be for a Mac computer, but I'm pretty certain that this works similarly for a PC. You'll need your camcorder, and like I said, this is the Sony Handycam DCR TRV6, or you can use a tape deck, whatever you have to play the cassette footage. A video capture card device. It should look something like this with these yellow, red, and white sockets, and a single black S video connector on one end, and a USB plug on the other end. You can find it on Amazon, usually labeled AV to USB video converter. This works for DV, VHS, and Hi8 as well if that's the type of camcorder you have. In addition to this, you'll also need an RCA composite cable or an audio video cable. On one end, you'll have these three yellow, red, and white plugs and a single black plug on the other end. You'll notice that the capture card and the AV cable have corresponding plugs and sockets. So you're going to connect those together by color, red to red, white to white, and yellow to yellow. Now this next part depends on whatever camcorder you're working with, but it should have some type of input panel like this for you to plug in the AV cable. I'm taking that single black plug from the AV cable that I mentioned earlier and plugging it into the audio video port of my camcorder. Bringing the setup over to my MacBook and making sure everything is still properly connected, I'm taking the USB plug from the capture card and plugging that into my computer like so. From here, you're going to need to open some type of video capture software. I use OBS because it's free, but you can use whatever you'd like. Turning my camcorder to the VCR setting, I typically do this one tape at a time, so I'm rewinding to the beginning of the cassette to make sure that I get all the footage that I need. I already have this set up for my camcorders, but for tutorial purposes, let's just pretend I'm doing this for the first time. Beginning with the OBS dropdown in the top left-hand corner, select Settings, Output, Output Mode Simple, scroll down to Recording, and for recording path, be sure you set this to the appropriate folder where you want the file to be saved. And then for the other settings, I have the recording quality at indistinguishable quality, recording format, MP4, video encoder, software, X264. Audio encoder will leave at default and the rest looks fine, so just hit okay. Under sources and clicking the plus button, I'm selecting video capture device and let's just rename that mini DV video and under device, selecting AV to USB 2.0. We'll use preset and I'll keep that setting on high. And then I'm dragging the corner of this box to fit my screen. This is a preview of how the video is going to look while playing. So I'm just going to make sure that it's centered. Going back to that plus button, this time I'm adding an audio input capture because I also want to include the sound from the camcorder footage, renaming that mini DV audio choosing USB 2.0 mic. Next, I'm pressing the play button on my camcorder so I can get an idea of what the footage will look like. And if you compare the camcorder screen versus the computer screen, you can see that the video looks kind of compressed, but that's easily fixable. The default setting for this canvas box is automatically set to what looks like full screen. And I filmed my camcorder footage using the 16 by nine widescreen setting. If I had filmed with that setting off, the aspect ratio would have been closer to 4x3 full screen, and we wouldn't have to make any of these adjustments. But I did want to film this widescreen because I knew it would probably be played on a widescreen computer, TV, phone, you got the idea. So back to OBS, 
clicking the filters button and under effect filters, select scaling and aspect ratio, renaming this widescreen, keeping the scale filtering at by cubic and selecting resolution 16 by nine. And there you go. Recentering this so that the entire video is being captured. And once everything is in place, hit start recording. The software is basically recording the tape footage in real time into one long video file. The length of the video depends when you hit stop recording, so if you wanted to, you could record smaller clips at a time, but I prefer to have just one big file that's saved to my desktop that I can drop into my video editing software and cut the footage that way. There are probably other ways to do this transfer process, but this is the way that's worked for me so far. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope you found it helpful and I will continue editing my camcorder footage. Thank you.